all right what's up guys today i'm going to be showing you guys a tool that is used to send code emails the name of the tool is instantly ai and so what instantly does is you give it a bunch of leads email leads that is and then it's able to help you with automated outreach and deliverability one of the best things about this tool is that they have an email warm-up section so that whenever you send out a bunch of emails it doesn't just get put in spam so i'm just going to show you guys the tool i'm not going to waste you guys time you know and i already have an account so i'm just going to click on login okay so right here we have it let's see there's a wizard that just popped up now this is what the dashboard looks like pretty plain and everything so first of all you have to connect an account to keep the emails warm just like i told you guys they're gonna help you warm up your email so that it doesn't just keep landing in spam i'm gonna click on add new and now you have this tool right here connect a new email account done for you email setup so let me test out this one first let me just click on it let me see if it works okay it says invalid url input a valid url or a domain name at the end of url is not allowed okay since it doesn't allow for this one right here, let's test out the connect a new email account. So Gmail right here. First, let's enable IMAP. Okay. My IMAP is already enabled. Let's see. We have two. Okay. Let's click on back. So we have two uh, connection options. We have the O authorization, which is the first option. Easier to set up. More stable and less disconnects available for G Suite accounts. Then we have the app password, pretty much available for personal accounts. Requires two-factor authentication, more prone to disconnect. Let's test out the first one. So let's go over to our Google Workspace admin panel. And add an account. Okay, seems like option one won't work in connecting it. So let me try option two. It says go to your Google account security settings, enable two-step verification, create an app password. So security settings, let's go over there. Let's switch it up. Okay. So it says enable two-step verification. Okay, that's enabled. Create an app password. Let's see, app password, create one. Let's see. To create a new one, so I'm just gonna put in instant, instantly. Create. Okay, so I just connected my email right now. And okay, so you can enable warm up by clicking on this fire icon. Once you enable the warm up, the account will start sending random machine. Let's go. Yes, I understand. And then click on continue. So then it's just going to start sending out. You can always disable it by clicking remove account or, you know, the connect account. Now, if you click here where it says campaigns and click on add new. I'm just gonna call this camp my campaign one. Click on continue. You have to add leads. Remember what I told you guys, leads are pretty much emails. So I'm gonna click on add leads. I have a bunch of dummy leads that I can add. So you can either upload a CSV file, like an Excel. You can use a lead finder. Let's test out the lead finder. Let's see what it gives us. Well, let me see. So you, you can pretty much search people by job titles, location, keyword filter and everything. Let me see what it gives me. Job title, CEO. Okay. Oh wow, it has a bunch from here. So I don't know if I wanna just do this. I don't know, I think I wanna use the one that I have. Let me just use the one that I have, the elites that I have. Let me go back to my campaigns right here. The campaign is the arrow sign. I'm gonna click on my campaign one and uh, leads, add leads. So you have the lead finder you guys just saw you can pretty much you know type in what you want to type in and then you'll be able to look for people's get people's emails and stuff like that and by the way i have a link to instantly ai in the description below you also have entering you can enter in the emails manually which is what, what i'm going to do you can see use google sheets i'm just going to enter the emails manually so let's add my emails so i got a bunch of dummy emails from chat gpt these are fake emails by the way I just need like five or six. Now, I don't need to verify the leads because they're dummy emails, but if these are leads that you got, obviously you need to verify it so you know that you're not just sending out a bunch of emails for no reason. So check for duplicates across all campaigns, cool. And then I'm just gonna click on import emails. This will upload five contacts to your campaign. Click on upload. It's uploaded. Good. 
now you can enter in a subject this right here let's click on it you can insert variables into your subject so things like account signature now let's start let me give my subject let's see thanks for subscribing stuff like that and then you can start typing here hi let me see hi AI. okay so we have an AI generator we have templates insert variables things like that so let's click on insert variables we don't have a name but let me just put hi first name and then I'm gonna use the AI generator marketing and advertising love your work let's let me use this template or let me just copy it rather okay so this is the hi first name variable right here hi first name big fan of your work at such and such company da 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 da, -da straight to the point and then it pretty much gives you all of this and then just click on save click on schedule and then you'll be able to schedule it obviously you always want to schedule between 10 a.m and 5 p.m because if you schedule at 9 a.m people are just getting to the office a lot of people don't really just start checking their emails once they get to the office believe it or not and you always want to schedule monday to friday and then you pick your own time zone schedule name the whole nine yards and then options you can stop sending emails on reply i always encourage you to do this always 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 encourage you to stop sending emails on reply you can also choose the account you want to send it from delivery optimization send emails as text only if you do that that pretty much it tends to disable the email tracking so do it this way and in fact in my opinion don't ever click on tracking whether the email is open or not the most important thing you're really focused on is replies when it comes to cold email it's pretty much people replying to you that's the majority of times you pretty much need people to reply to your people clicking a link and then performing an action but a lot of times it will be from the replies that's when you typically get the results you're looking for cold emails limit 30 a day can go up go down and then can just click on launch let's go over to the next one the next one we have something called unibox so this is when people start replying to your emails a lot of the emails are gonna start appearing in here they also have a crm so the you have the uni box right here whenever people reply this is when it comes in that's why i always tell people if you're gonna ever do cold email just think of it as just sending your own friend an email if the person replies that's when you know the person has really done something not necessarily just clicking a link and if you tend to add a lot of links in your email or there's a mass email where there are links in them a lot of times this email providers will throw you into the spam analytics will show you you know your click-through rate your open rate total sent things of that nature and they can also manage your leads so all campaigns my campaign one you can see them it's going to show you whether or not you've contacted them you can always submit your bugs feedback and everything now instantly what is my opinion on it if you're a person who's sending out cold emails even though i'm a person who doesn't do cold emails and i don't really i'm not really the biggest fan of cold emails but if you're a person who sends out cold emails then i'll say you can always use it too like instantly why don't I, why am I not a huge fan of cold emails? Because I believe that clients coming to you will convert way more better and they'll also stay longer with you than a client you really get from, you know, doing a, like a huge cold email campaign. But if you're a person who's really into cold emails, I say give Instantly AI a try. I have a link to it in the description below and uh, just let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys next time.